bit, right? Right now, the consistency is so high that Richards and Lopez, they're having a bad, quote, bad round, and they're throwing a 10. Right, like and that. on top of it, no one's they're making you m make a shot in order to steal those two points. Yeah. I mean, I would argue that the rounds in which they're scoring aren't even the most impressive ones. It's the ones where they're either washing or giving up a couple points. It's like... Now, here's a difficult push because these bags are forming kind of like a, a, a V, a hard V here, which means if you hit anywhere to the left of that V, you're getting kicked left. you got to really hug that right side blue bag. Does a pretty good job His there. His is dipping in the hole on slick side. His is dipping in the hole on slick side. Maybe try to come around it. Maybe I can sit in the pocket. You can try. An advantage. Whatever you want. Tough spot. He, essentially, what he wants to do is he wants to go here, knock this in, and sit. P pretty okay. good. P honestly, pretty good. Um, it leaves a tough shot for uh. Philip Lopez in order to clean it up for points. This bag is likely going to go. Uh, you, a little bit of a sigh from Ruben, but I, I honestly th I don't hate the shot. I think it's, given the scenario, I think pretty good. Oh, Lopez. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Two straight rounds of cleaning everything up. And again, it's that decision of do I slide it and hope it falls or do I intentionally go after it? But if you miss the air meal, you give up seven. Yeah, he's going to go for it, and he does hit it. Another Able to collect it with that drag on the air mail. But I mean, again, a couple of more points, right? Yeah. <laughs> big shot right here, right here by Philip Lopez. And Jay Rubin hits a big air mail drag. To give up points. Philip Lopez, yes. two huge, big slides up the center.